Acts chapter 20 And after the uproar had ceased, Paul called to him the disciples, and embraced them, and departed to go into Macedonia. And when he had gone over those parts, and had given them much exhortation, he came into Greece, and there stayed three months. And when the Jews laid wait for him, as he was about to sail into Syria, he purposed to return through Macedonia. And there accompanied him into Asia, Sopater of Berea, and of the Thessalonians, Aristarchus, and Secundus, and Gaius of Derbe, and Timothy, and of Asia, Tychius, and Trophimus. These going before waited for us at Troas. And we sailed away from Philippi after the days of unleavened bread, and came to them at Troas in five days, where we stayed seven days. And on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached to them, ready to depart on the next day, and continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber, where they were gathered together. And there sat in a window a certain young man named Eutychus, having fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. And Paul went down and fell on him and embracing him said, Trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. When he therefore had come up again and had broken bread and eaten, and talked a long while, even until the break of day, so he departed. And they brought the young man alive, and were not a little comforted. And we went before to ship, and sailed to Assis, there intending to take in Paul, for so he had appointed, minding himself to go by foot. And when he met with us at Assis, we took him in, and came to Mytilene. And we sailed from there, and came the next day over against Chios. And the next day we arrived at Samos, and stayed at Tragilium. And the next day we came to Miletus. For Paul had determined to sail by Ephesus, because he would not spend the time in Asia. For he hurried, if it were possible for him to be at Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. And from Miletus he sent to Ephesus, and called the elders of the church. And when they had come to him, he said to them, You know, from the first day that I came into Asia, after what manner I have been with you all seasons, serving the Lord with all humility of mind, and with many tears and temptations, which befell me by those lying in wait of the Jews and how I kept back nothing that was profitable for you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the Jews and to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, see, I go bound in the Spirit to Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there, except that the Holy Ghost witnesses in every city saying that bonds and afflictions will come to me. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear to myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus Christ, to testify the gospel of the grace of God. And now behold, I know that you all, among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of God, shall see my face no more. Consequently, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare to you all the counsel of God. Take heed therefore to yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing grievous wolves shall enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men rise up, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them.
Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn every one night and day with tears. And now, brothers, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those which are sanctified. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Yes, you yourselves know that these hands have ministered to my necessities and to those that were with me. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring you ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had spoken this, he kneeled down and prayed with them all. And they all wept sore and fell on Paul's neck and kissed him, sorrowing most of all for the words which he spoke, that they would see his face no more. And they accompanied him to the ship.